Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I am going to be doing three looks using the Jackie Ina X Anastasia Beverly Hills palette. So this is a video that I've been wanting to do for a while, but I had other videos that I've already pre-filmed a while ago that I had to finish editing those first before I could start filming new videos because I know myself, if I start filming new videos, I'm not gonna want to edit my other videos. So what I usually do is I'll pre-film like two or three videos, sometimes even four videos. And then I'll just edit all of those. And once all of those are edited, then I'll start doing more videos. Um, of course, unless if it's BoxyCharm, then usually BoxyCharm takes precedence. And I just end up doing that video before any other video. I'm gonna be doing three looks using the Jackie Ina palette times Anastasia. And if you guys don't know what it looks like, it's this palette here. And I'm sure you guys have probably already seen a million three looks using one palette, but I still wanted to do my own three looks using this palette. Maybe some other people have done similar looks or the same exact look. I don't really know because I haven't really watched too many videos on this palette. Really quick, before I jump into it, at first glance, this palette kind of looks boring, but one of the things that really made me want to try this palette is the fact that Jackie Ina made this palette geared towards women of color, I guess you could say. Anybody out there can use this eyeshadow palette. It doesn't just have to be someone of deeper complexion. I just really like it because I don't know if you guys have seen my Norvina Volume 1 palette video thing that I did. Um, where I was talking about the original Norena palette and how I love how beautiful that palette looks but when I use it on my eyes it's just the ashiest hot mess I've ever seen and unfortunately that's how I feel about a lot of palettes like and that's something that she mentioned when she was talking about this eyeshadow palette so I just really wanted to try it out on my skin tone and see how the colors perform how intense alrighty guys so if you guys want to see what three looks I do using this eyeshadow palette then just continue watching so we're starting off with a little bit of the Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion and the Anti-Aging Formula, which is my favorite. And then I'm going to go ahead and take the first shade in the um, Jackie Ina palette and I'm going to take the color Ginger and I'm going to apply that into the crease with a nice fluffy crease brush. And you can be really messy with this. I want it to be really diffused and blown out. Um, and my eyebrows were such a hot mess that I was just making sure that everything blended in nicely and that I didn't have like brush hair on me. Anyways, we're going to go ahead and take the shade called Wigglease and I'm going to go ahead and pack that all on my eyelid. And I'm taking a fluffier um, brush and applying that just because I really want to diffuse the color. I don't want it to be super intense and I'm just blending that in with the ginger color. Like I said, we're really going for that blown out smoky eye type of a vibe. But then I decided I want to kind of do make a, um, what's it called? A halo eye. Um, so I'm just blending out the wiggly shade with ginger again. And then we're just going to go ahead and take a little brow bone color and just make sure that everything blends in nicely. And just for a little fun pop of color, I'm going to take the color called Zam. I'm going to apply that right in the middle of the eyelid and this is just going to add nice dimension and depth to the eye look. I decided to take it with my finger and it was more intense that way. Um, and on this eye, I actually wet the brush to get that intensity up. And then I'm just taking the wiggly shade and ginger and blowing that out underneath my lash line. Taking a little bit of the Soleil shade and I'm going to apply that into the crease. I know I totally butchered that. And I meant to say that I'm applying it into my inner corner. Taking a little bit of brown eyeliner and just lining my eyes with it. And we're only lining the um, lower lash line with it. And I'm also going to kind of tight line just a little bit just to kind of give my lashes some definition and make it look nice and dense. Taking the trusty Good Vibes Mascara, which is one of my faves. I'm going to use the built-in lash curler and just go ahead and curl up my lashes. You just want to do this for like a few seconds so that way you don't pinch your eyeball out. And before I do that, I'm going to set my face with the Gerard Cosmetics um, Slay All Day setting spray and then I'm going to go ahead and put on the Tristique mascara. The reason I do that is so that way the mascara doesn't smudge when I put on the setting spray. So you don't have to do it this way if you don't want to but that's just how I do it. Doing the other eye here, you want to really be careful because you can pinch your eyelid with this lash curler but this mascara is really really good. It's definitely one of my favorites. 
And then after we do that, we're going to make sure that it's nice and evenly coated. Um, really take your time with this step. We're going to go ahead and do the bottom lashes just to make sure that they are nice and defined and that the eyes look nice and open. And then I'm going to go ahead and take the color Tempt for Morphe. This is my lips but better. I absolutely adore this shade. I'm taking the Bite Me lip liner from Morphe and I'm going to go ahead and line my lips with it first. I probably should have sharpened it, but I didn't. So here we are just lining the lips, taking any brown lip liner. And I'm going to go ahead and apply that Temp shade right on top. Like I said, it's my lip but better. If I don't use the lip liner, it still looks really good. So I really, really love this shade. If you're like my skin color, I highly recommend that you try this color out. It is gorgeous. And this is the first finished look. Super nice and soft, but still glamorous. I really love how this first look came out. And I usually don't love first looks, but this one is definitely one of my favorites. So then we're going to jump into the second look. And I'm super excited for this second look. As you guys can see, I'm going to go ahead and start off with a shade called Supreme. I'm applying that with that same crease brush as earlier. And I'm just going to go ahead and apply that into the crease. And then take a little bit of pinker and apply that a little bit lower in the crease just to deepen things up a little bit. And also in the outer corner of my eye. This is going to give a more elongated look. And you guys can see all that fallout that came out of the brush. Make sure you always tap off your brush for any excess so that way you don't get it all over your face and it makes it easier to work with the shadows. Taking a little bit of the big wig shade. This shade looks a lot more intense in um, camera than it does in person. I'm just applying that on my outer V of my eye. I feel like once you mix it in with the pinker and supreme shade that it really gives that softer look but still a fun pop of color. Then I'm just taking a crease brush and blending that all together, making sure that it is nice and intense, but still nice and blended because we don't want no harsh lines. And I took a little bit of that pinker shade and just put it right on top of that big wood shade to make sure that there's um, smoothness within the eyeshadow. It's taking a little bit of dollars and I'm going to go ahead and take that on a flat synthetic brush I actually did not wet this brush you guys can see how intense and pigmented this shade is it is absolutely gorgeous I love this shade so much it's like a really pretty golden color with a little bit of a green undertone and I was actually surprised how well it worked then I'm taking a little bit of shooken tint applying that right in the middle this color was intensely pigmented like I was not expecting it to be this pigmented so I'm just putting that right in between the dollar shade and the big wig shade. And then I'm going to go ahead and line my eyes with the Kat Von D Tattoo Liner. This is what it looks like. And then we're going to go back into the Sugar Tint. I'm going to apply that on my lower lash line. And purple is really supposed to make brown eyes pop, which I definitely can say. I feel like my eyes are popping with this color combination that we have going on. I'm taking a little bit of that... Um, sugar tint shade and just making sure that everything is nice and blended kind of refining everything taking a little bit of trust issues applying that on my inner corner of my eye to really make it look nice and awake this is my favorite tip I always do this all the time taking a little bit of pinker and big wig mixing them together and I really really wanted to buff out my lower lash line and make it look nice and soft I didn't want to make it look like there was a harsh line or anything and then I'm going to go ahead and take the same lip liner that we had earlier. Actually, I lied. This one is Sugar Pie from um, Morphe as well. And then I'm going to go ahead and take this Alme lipstick. I think this is in the color like Good Vibes or something like that. And I'm going to go ahead and apply it. It's basically like a mauve dusty nude pink. And I really, really like how it paired with the eyes. I just feel like it kind of tied everything together. So here I am applying it and then I'm going to go ahead and take some of the Gerard Cosmetics gloss and apply that right on top. If you guys want to save 30% off, use my code MeechMakesUp. If you guys don't, don't worry about it. But this is the second look. So far, I'm loving both of the looks. I really do like how they both came out and how they both just paired together so nicely. But I will say, of course, that the third look is my favorite, even though my eyes are suffering just a little bit. So we're going to jump right into the third look. My eyes are primed again, taking that ginger color again, applying it into the crease. I always start off with this step, just a different color, because this is going to be the base to any eye look that you do. So I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing on the other eye, 
just blending everything together it doesn't have to be really nice and neat just kind of throwing that color in there and then I'm going to go ahead and take the color edges and I'm going to apply that a little lower into the crease this is going to add some depth and dimension and if you use a more stiff brush you're going to get more of a harsher line if you use a fluffier brush you're going to get more of a softer line so I'm going to do the same thing on the other eye. Um, these colors are very similar, but Ginger's a little bit more brown, while Edges is a little bit more orange. Then I'm just making sure there's no harsh lines here. And I really, really want to wing this eyeshadow out. It's going to elongate the eyes a lot. I'm going to take a little bit of credit and apply that on my outer V of my eye. And I'm just taking a flat, fluffy brush. I know it kind of sounds weird. But it's kind of like a Morphe M433, but a little bit fluffier. And I'm just applying that on my outer V. And then I'm going to take whatever's left and bring it into the crease just to add some nice depth and dimension to the eyes. This look is going to be similar to the last look that we did, but just different colors. So just bear with me, guys. And then once everything is nice and blended, I'm going to go ahead and take a black eyeliner and messily apply it onto my um, inner part of my eyelid. As you guys can see, I'm taking my finger and just blending that out. The eyeliner I used for some reason was really hard to blend out. But the reason I did that is because I'm going to take the shade called Sponsored and I'm going to apply that right on top. And what that basically does is it brings out more of the green and the sponsored shade versus that blue brown base that it has um, and it's just gonna really really intensify it so if you really want a color to look nice and deep and rich apply black eyeliner first and then apply the shimmer color on top and you're really gonna bring out that depth then I'm just making sure that that sponsored shade blends in with the credit shade so I'm just blending kind of where those two colors meet taking that large crease brush from earlier and making sure there are no harsh lines that everything is nice and diffused. And then we went ahead and put on some lashes. I believe these are the Ritzy Lashes from Kiss, which are some of my favorites. I'm taking this emerald green eyeliner from Sugar, and I'm gonna apply that into my waterline. This is really gonna bring out brown eyes. I feel like greens really make it pop. Take a little bit of lituation, apply that on my lower lash line, mostly because I didn't know where to apply this. But this is a gorgeous color. I feel like you can alternate it and put this on the lid if you don't want to put sponsored on the lid. And it'll still look gorgeous. Then I'm just blending everything out. Taking a little bit of trust issues once again. Applying that into the inner corner. You guys can see how this just really brings the look together. Then I'm taking a little bit of... Um, Wild Nothing Lip Liner from ColourPop. Sorry, I had a brain fart there. And then I'm just taking this orangey um, lip, what's it called? Ultra Matte Lip from ColourPop in the shade called Secreto. This is one of my favorite orangey nudes. I really, really love how this paired. I feel like this is perfect for Thanksgiving or for fall or really any situation. I absolutely love this palette. I would highly recommend it no matter what your skin tone is. I'll see you guys in the next one. Till then.